G'day guys, today I'm going to be showing you a quick how-to guide of how I created this super rad mullet. Check out this starting canvas, my girl Jade has been saving her hair for some super rad styling. Um, and let's show you guys some of the inspo pics that she sent me. And of the, I was absolutely frothing that she'd sent me all of these, like I had no idea that she wanted to go for such a rad do. So I had Jade come in a few days before our appointment to do a training test and see what we can do for her. The back didn't lift that great, so we decided to go for a darker base and create more of a feature in the fringe. So as you can see here, it's quite red, so we worked on neutralizing that without having to actually use any deposit color, so without actually putting in black into her hair. How fucking rad are her earrings though? And as soon as I start recording, it starts pissing down rain, of course. So you can clearly tell how excited we are to start getting into this. So let's talk about the colour a little bit before we start into the haircut and then we'll jump back into the colour afterwards. Does that sound like a good game plan? Okay, so you can see in Jade's hair, it is actually quite red. So I was really happy that I just had my order from Pulp Riot. They've only just released their Dash 77 booster into Australia, which is their green booster. So to cancel out a lot of that red without having it to actually go darker in the base, um, it was a good alternative for me to go to. I actually use like the Dash 7 quite a fair bit to cancel out a lot of unwanted red tones. It's just, I think it's very overlooked. So Jade is living up to her name and we're going for more of a blue and a green base colour today. So now we have a bit more of a storyline of the colour I'm going to do. Let's get into this haircut and take out a lot of that weight and extra length that we won't need to be needing. So check out my sectioning for the haircut now. So I've basically just sectioned off like the sides that we're going to be taking the shortest, the fringe area, the top where it's going to be the shortest and then the back which is mainly the length. So I'm basically just going to be showing you a step-by-step -step of the front area, so like the shortest part, because the top and the back I'm actually bringing out my own educational video that you can purchase. it. Okay, so this front side section here I've just scissor over combed, and then the area just along the hairline and then over the ear I've left longer because I'm going to razor that and feather it so it has a bit more of like a softness, a bit more of a feminine edge to it. Doesn't it just give it like a real soft edge to it? Oh, it's so pretty. So just basically just mirror that on the other side as well. And you can see me zooming in up onto her face. It really brings out her cheekbones and her jawline. Oh, it looks amazing. Okay, so I didn't realize that I didn't film the fringe, but basically that, that top front section, um, I just brought that all the way down, set, uh, set it at natural fall, divided it where her wi natural widow's peak was going to fall, and then I just cut it at the two alternate lengths um, to create that real like hairpin fringe. Okay, let's fast forward to the first round of colour. So this little foil that I've got wiggling here is a just straight black. And then as well as underneath the front panels, I've just done straight black as well. So the front area where I've got the bleach, that is my shine line area. So I've done the base of the all over color at the roots, then out to bleach, then out to black. So that'll create my shine line. And then I've also around the ears, just done like a little weave of um, bleach because I'm gonna do like a bit of a tinge of a green. So my all over color that I've done is 3-7 at the roots which is a three level um, matte green base and then dash 77 booster on the ends which is the green booster. So I allowed this to process for 30 minutes and then I rinsed, shampooed and dried off for the next colour. Dude, how fucking sick does it look already? So you can see the dividing foil in between my shine line looks epic and then the back is like super cooled out and ready for the next global all over colour. Yeah! <laughs> So now I'm just doing an overlay of the Pulp Right Semi Permanent and my first colour is the New Guardian which is the newest green to Pulp Riot and in the middle I've got a mix of Aquatic and Decoy which is like a teal colour and then right on the ends is 
Sorcery, which is also the new blue to Pop Riot. And then on the all over color, I'm just gonna be doing Aquatic. So with the front section, I did not have a plan. I just put every color everywhere. So it's just like a shimmer of all these different tones all the way through. And oh, I just can't wait to show you the finish result. Oh my God. So I allowed this to process for 40 minutes and then rinsed it off with high pressure cold water and then styled it out and made it look badass as fuck. Let me know what you think.